Oh, hey, welcome to another episode of What's This Going On? I'm confused. <laughs> I thought you were say your name. Oh, hey, welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Frodi. And I'm still confused. <laughs> we're going to give you all, all things, things fuck worthy. worthy. I'm here for this <laughs> treadmill challenge. Did you see this video of this dude? Oh wait, is this like the wait, more not... limber than I ever dreamed to be? Oh, yes. Just yeah. a little, and one and two, nope. and three and four, and five and six and seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, uh -uh. 12, 13, 14, 16, and we're down, and we're down, and we're over, and there's barbells, and we're going up, and we're going, and we're going over, and we're holding it up, and we're pushing it up, and we're pumping, jumping, laying, going, flipping, what and type of... And we're doing... Oh, and we're jumping around like a little baby frog. The burpees from hell. <laughs> There's no way... It doesn't even look real. The the running... Okay, listen. Mm -hmm. That jumping from treadmill to, to treadmill sounds fun. Sounds mm -hmm. like a great time. However, my knees would not allow that. And so I can only gaze upon that in admiration and in a, what the fuck are you doing? Well, probably tearing your ACL eventually if you keep fucking around like that. I'll tell you that. Do you remember, what was that music video from back in the day that was big yes, on YouTube? Okay, go. Yes, okay, go. Okay. Those are the only people I want to see doing that treadmill. This this man took it to the next level. Here's the thing. Whenever I see stuff like this, I'm like, one part of me is like, okay, we get it. Like, you know, you need to apply for like America, American Ninja Warrior, Gladiator, whatever uh -huh. the fuck those shows are, uh, where you do ridiculous tasks. We get it. Also, hello. Are we working on the yard right now? We love it. We, we love live it. for this. I know. I know. It's upsetting. Do you want me to hold you? Oh, she's not. Do you want me to hold you? You got a bad heart, girl. There's no shaking. Not in 2019. Oh, baby. It's 11.08 already? How? How did it happen? Where did it go? So here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm here for you doing what you gotta do. Um, but if I walk into that gym and I need a fucking treadmill, and you have 18 treadmills lined up for your viral video, we're gonna have a fucking problem. I'm almost mad I wasn't in that gym. It's probably one of those like super expensive exclusive gyms where they don't they hate fat people like actively and openly. Um, <laughs> you know, just posters. Which is most gyms, but like specifically like the very tiny ones where it's like there's like five machines, one of those. But if I wish I could have been in that video, just staring in complete confusion, and then like getting on the treadmill after he's done, like. And like an office, a The Office style zoom in of the camera on your face. That. Exactly that. I'm Jim. Oh, I love it. This little uh, the sounds of summer. So peaceful. I wish the sounds of summer were more like just the sound of free air conditioning. You know? I wish the sounds of summer were the sounds of d deposits in my account. Ooh, I like that one too. Good answer. Here's what I'm here for today. We've got... Uh, I didn't ask. We've got criminals on our hands. Or should I say, hooves. I am a criminal, but I'm confused. So, uh, oh, no. a man and a horse. It's Florida. <laughs> Burglarize a home. Do you uh, take the house, the whole, okay. I want to tell you the man's name, too. <laughs> Dunkle <His> name. <laughs> oh, he goes by the rooster. And I want to tell you about the rooster. I... The rooster, they had security camera footage of this man, the rooster, on his horse, okay. wandering around the property, opened a screen porch and tried to get in the padlocked front door, gave up, entered through a back window, and the window broke, causing $100 worth of damage. Damn. And the horse walked away. <laughs> she said, well, I'm not getting caught here, so I'm fine, guys. All she right. was really over rooster or roaster, whatever the fuck his name is, bullshit. Like, this is not the first time. He gets a little drunk. Rides her into town, breaks away. She's like, no, 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 She's not like, again. Oh, Come on. I done my time. Come on. We always do this. Why Come can't on. We, why can't we break into something that I want to break into? I get it. I'm the horse. I just want some hay. Can we? Can we do that? You know, here's the thing. Not that I'm an expert on breaking into things. Okay. Except hearts. You might want to be the least conspicuous that you could possibly be. So I don't know if, first of all, having a name like Rooster, we're already, we're already out in a limb. 
but because you know someone that has that fucking name tells everyone that name is known around town and not for good reasons hey there's the rooster you know they call me they call me rooster yeah mm, that's a man that's cat calling people that's a man that's getting in, in brawls uh, drunk in brawls that's sounds a lot like he's things. waking people up at ungodly hours yeah to show up on a horse on top of that you're not a cowboy bitch i don't know what year you think this is i don't know what you're doing security cameras exist now and unless you're using the horse to literally block the security camera or to like trick people to think you have in some kind of pet and farm it's not working oh I don't and know you know what? what the picture just makes it make sense it does the picture is sense. all i would have needed to see to know exactly what we were dealing with which was mess i don't know what part of the story i'm here for i just knew i had to share it Maybe specifically, I'm the here for the no, arrest. I'm here for the horse running away. That too, but mostly the arrest. Yeah, Roost is gonna be back out of the town. <laughs> Roosty. Within a day, he's got some bar buddies. That's not even his horse. That's not even a man that should be owning a horse. That horse oh. looks confused. <laughs> and also, Angel, the horse, oh, Angel. was found after all of this, two miles away, reunited with her owner, who was not exactly. The I rooster. told you, he fucking took the horse. This confused ass horse was just brought into a fucking burglary. I'm uh, telling you, I can tell by the photo. That's not a man that owns that horse. That horse is confused. Just, I was so just pleased to see can the story. Can you shut the fuck up? Jesus Christ. I love you, babe. Don't worry, babe. This is how Roost would break into a house. He'd be that's like, Roost well, right now. That's Roost right now. He heard us talking about him. Typical. So today I want to talk about Caddy Purry. Um, how do, have you heard about this? Wait, the actual? Oh yeah, so she got sued. So Katy Perry, apparently her team plagiarized a song, a Christian rap song for her song Dark Horse, which happens to be my favorite Katy Perry song. Fair. So maybe you um, need to get plagiarized. <laughs> it's, you know? And I was looking for the clip. Yeah, of can the song. we hear it? I think we'll probably have to look it up on YouTube. Wait, which okay, I'm fine so what's with. it called? Here's what it says first, though. A jury on Monday found that Katy Perry's 2013 hit Dark Horse improperly copied a 2009 Christian rap song yeah. in a unanimous decision that represented a rare takedown of a pop superstar and her elite producer by a relatively unknown artist. She said that she never heard the song, too. Yeah. Wait, okay, but can I say that this is the shit that makes me hate the music industry mm -hmm. at the same time? Because I know that this happens where people go out and, like, you know, they will take beats and, and songs and things like that. But I just... <sighs> Sometimes songs just sound similar because there's only so There are many, only so many notes. There are only so many things you can do. Okay. You know, and so they were describing it as, like... This melody is as simple as Mary Had a Little Lamb. And when I think about it, dun 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 dun. Here it's, we go. That doesn't sound anything like it. Dark Horse. Oh, oh, oh. Dark Joyful. Okay, so someone already did the work for us. Oh. That second to last note is not even the same. This doesn't even sound the same. How was this decision unanimous? This is unanimous? a common BPM. And first of all, her song isn't da 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 like the the the, the most recognizable part of it is da 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 da. Bitch, you better start taking down Christmas songs. I this in wow. this, this is infuriating. Wow. Cause like, who were the people in this jury? This I mean, this is a hard situation. I listened to it. I listened to it again. It feels like an unfortunate accident, but I do have to say when the guy's voice comes in at the top of her song, the same exact way that the song came, the guy's voice comes in at, in the Christian rapper song, you're kind of like, oh, maybe it's the same in the sounds. Oh, maybe it's the same in the sounds, but it feels like a stretch to me. It's a big stretch. I love Eve. It's a big stretch. She has a new song. I'm excited. <sighs> it's a big stretch. Um, I mean, and I'm not even here to like keep for Katy Perry, um, but... <sighs> This is the stuff that makes me hate the music industry. Like, how did how did she lose this case? How do you even prove that you haven't heard a song? Like, yeah. how do you do that? 
And it's not, there are probably so many songs that have the same note five times in a row. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, four times in a row. And then a couple more to fill out the bar. It just like makes you anxious to ever put a, a note next to a note in any kind of sequence at a certain BPM because there's always gonna be someone that's like, no, my fucking song that no one heard that I released in like 1992, you took from it. It's like, I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't, what? And then what the, also this? the other thing that sucks is I'm sure it does happen. I just don't think this is one of those times. I just don't think that that man lost any money because I don't think he was making any money because it's not a good song. So, I just really hope that they do whatever the court's, you know, word for reconsider is. <laughs> what's the, I mean, what's look, is now the time to sue Adele? Now's the Hello? time. You gotta sue Megan Trainer. She has your, your first Thank name. You. I'm calling. I'm suing everybody. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> but this is so stupid. It's, <sighs> it's, I don't get it. How much did she have to pay him? Well, what do you get, like a production fee? Like, what do you get? He didn't write the fucking song. And absolutely nothing else is even similar about the song. The level of delusion. It's just so annoying. Like, I am not Katy Perry. I mean, unless he has like explicit proof that he was in touch with the same producer and he sent the same beat to the producer and the producer was gonna use it but didn't use it and like had the beat and that like, there has to be more than just, it sounds similar. Mm -hmm. That's a big stretch. That's a big stretch. And also like, there's so much music in the world. We're just gonna run into more and more of this because people can release songs just like that mm -hmm. um, online. And so everyone's convinced that like, this sounds like what they wrote that no one heard. And it's just, get over it. I wanna Fuck know this. how they even got to this point. How they got to the point where they took Katy Perry to court. <laughs> and the whole team. And they even got, um, Every single person who was involved in that song, yeah. including, now I forgot who rapped on it, but whoever that song was featuring, he is also a defendant in the case, Juicy J. They're suing Juicy J also, when he has nothing to do <laughs> with those eight notes. Wow. I am. Um... No one sees a problem with this. I see a problem. No, no one in the court that day was like, well, this seems... So what I'm saying is it doesn't make sense. It's like, unless there's some specific connection between who produced that actual beat, or he sent it to her and he knows she listened to it, like it was like a text message on red. I don't understand. I don't understand. Fuck that, dude. That, is, oh, I hate it so much. It's like, it's something that's there to protect people. And so it's like very subjective of like, you know, who, and so I get it. And maybe I don't know the full story, but um, it makes it really hard to want to write music when you're like literally three or four notes that I've heard once upon a time that now I, I don't have the reference, but like it's one of the eight fucking notes that humans can hear. And uh, I put it in sequence with something that's not at all, like, I feel like music is about remixing. Music, and, and, and not in a sense of like, just literally taking something and like putting a stamp on it and like selling it without whatever, but like, you hear so many different tones and things, and we hear a lot of very similar things, that it makes sense that you're gonna find threads of that throughout music, but if it's not the majority of what it is, I don't, I don't understand. Well, I can't wait to never hear any of his music. The first thing I click on is her dressed up as Cleopatra, Jesus Christ. That's who should be suing her, Cleopatra, for taking this fucking style. Egypt, for her co-opting all of this. Well, Cleopatra did her own little uh, taking of, of Egyptian culture. She was Greek. Oh, well see, everyone's an appropriator. So, she went in there, the Ptolemies. She said, swooped. I can do this. Mm-hmm. A little history lesson on that ass. Well, you know what? This works for both your here for it and your story. Mm -hmm. That's wow. me, a little dark horse. The dark horse. Running the fuck away. Angel. <laughs> okay, going. I want out of this. I want nothing to do with it. I'm good. This is me, just making sure I'm hearing that correctly. Like, am I, am I seeing this? Jesus Christ. Ugh, one of the worst things is that people can just sue anyone. Like, 
Oh my god. What a nightmare. I understand why people just have normal jobs. And like, don't be in entertainment. Because if people can't do something, can't do it as well as you or better than you, they'll do everything they can to tear down what you've made. My manager was like, I have this idea for a podcast. Name, idea, and I was like, bitch, I literally wrote this down in my notes. Like, <laughs> this happened to this morning. Two years ago. I put something out today, and Nikki was like, I wrote this six months ago. Like, in a this note. exact line. And so here's the thing. I mean, this is very like Elizabeth Gilbert, big magic type shit, but Ooh. like, if you read a book, bitch, if you, <laughs> I mean, she's problematic, but like, if you saw, so is Dr. Laura, which I talked about earlier, very problematic, but I mean, truly, I'm trying to be the most problematic, but um, if you don't make the ideas, I like, I like the idea that, well, I don't like it because it happens to me, but if you don't make the idea, the idea is going to go somewhere else to get made. So I've come up with a million things that I think are so good, but if you're not going to put the time and energy into making it, at some point, someone else is going to see a combination of things that sparks the same fucking thought, and they're going to write it down, or they're going to make it, and then you're going to be sitting there looking like a fucking clown on a cruise ship over here. Shout out to my video over on my channel. Check it out. If you're into that, if that's your kink. <laughs> and uh, you're going to be looking like a fucking clown because you think that you're the only person who's smart enough or understanding enough to look at outside influences and connect them in a certain way. And you're not, you're not that fucking special. I hate to tell you this, but you're not that fucking special. Uh, special Tanjas. joy. Special Tanjas. Special Tanjas. You know who else is special? These, These BBs. BBs. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Golden, welcome to the BB family. You're a Patreon little love of ours now. And I just want to say that like, your love inspires me and just like, makes me feel fresh and new and clean. Better than this bottle of bleach that definitely has an ad advertisement that we weren't paid for. Satan, I love you almost as much as I love sitting on an operating washing machine. Where's this a dryer? Joan, I'm brushing away all these blues because you're one of our Patreon babies this month and I love you. Jeremy Shawshank Redemption and Pussy. You know what I like to do when I Shawshank Redemption pussies? Make sure I have clean hands. Thanks, peeps. Elijah, you bounce all over my heart like a little love that you are. Thank you for being a Patreon supporter. You're special. Shannon Lemon, we've gained a BB in you, and we thank you so much, even though we wish that this was lemon scented. Heather Paraloides. Also known as Snitch. Don't tell them that I didn't use my quarters for this washing machine. Keep your fucking mouth shut. We want to give up to Jessica True Blood Riddle. Jessica, my favorite fan fiction is Eric and Sookie. Please send it accordingly, Riddle. Joanna Wilhelmina. Joanna, I want to take a little photograph of you and make you famous, Wilhelmina. <laughs> Sammy Sue. Sammy Sue Sosa. DeVince Operato. DeVince, I want to paint you like one of my French girls, Operato. Lawrence Colden. Lawrence, it's cold in here. Sebastian Whitaker. Sebastian Under the Sea Whitaker. Martin Bale. I want a little Martin. Wyatt Eaton. Wyatt Eaton out my goddamn heart. <laughs> Roberto XS, I thought that was going to go somewhere. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> Roberto 3XLXS. AJ Avicia. AJ, have you ever had caffeine free, no sugar, no calories Diet Coke? Tamara Moongraves. Tamara, the only bench that cares about me, Moongraves. Sam Brodor. Sam is too much, brother. Chris Maben. Chris and Maben all over my life. MK Zavader. MK Twitch Boots Zavader. Evan Blue. Evan So Blue without you. Stephanie. Stephanie. Chelsea Strong. Chelsea Strong are on their way to my heart. Pam Gallegos. Pam, I want to talk to you about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Gallegos. And William Harvey. And William say no shit, Harvey. We also want to thank all the viewers on the screen and the people you don't see who are ghost babies. If you'd like to join the afterlife with us, please visit patreon.com slash with sweet love. You're cute. And you should also check us out on Patreon because we are putting up special little videos, uh, including us face tuning each other, and that goes up this month live, so. Yup. Enjoy. Also, if you want us to fuck up your name, you know, you know what tier you can join. Absolutely. You know you want us to fuck up your name. Come on. I'll troll the shit out of you for fun and for money, but mostly <laughs> for fun, to be fair. I would do it regardless. Thank you, BBs, for being here, oh, for he showing up and showing out. I think he looks like a fucking trapper keeper today. I don't even know how to tell you this. He, oh, your pockets are longer than your dick and your shorts. Girl, what? This is so much. It's just so much. What you keep in those pockets? Just a little. You wallet. you look like a fucking trapper keeper. 
First day of school. Oh, I got a note. I got a notebook to go with my Trapper Keeper. Look at my folders for my social studies class and my chemistry class. That's you. Uh, you can find me most places at Sound New Lake, looking like a Trapper Keeper. You can find me at Megan Tonjes. Uh, all right. Well, bye.